Hi, I'm Jack. I'm a third year undergraduate studying English here at Churchill. Hi, I'm Katie Lee. So I did my undergraduate in natural sciences here and now I'm a second year medical physics PhD. Together we're going to take you on a tour of Churchill. The first place you come across in Churchill is the Porter's Lodge. It's kind of like a big reception area. The people who work here are called porters and they are some of the nicest, friendliest people you will meet here. They're always happy for you to pop in and say hello. There's always someone on duty, even overnight, and they'll help you with pretty much anything from the post, which is just in the room across the hall, to also lending you tools or a bike helmet. The concourse is the main walkway through college. It gets absolutely flooded with lights, especially in the summer, and the sliding doors are a really quick way to get into the sun. It takes you to all of the really important places in college, including our cafe and bar, which we call the Buttery. This is the buttery. It's a really versatile space. It's like a massive common room. So you can grab a coffee and a snack with friends during the day or get drinks in the evening. It also sometimes gets converted for big events. So I have some karaoke in here. I watch the Premier League final. And then whenever it's a dance floor, I will very enthusiastically embarrass myself. The buttery is also a really popular place to work. You know, when you want something a bit stricter than your college room or something a little more relaxed than the library. It's a real hub of students' activity. It's so f open and friendly, that's one of, the thing, one of the best things about Churchill. Also, special shout out to our barista Greg, whose kind and wise words makes everyone stay. And if you want anything slightly more substantial than a coffee, let's go upstairs and check out the dining hall. So this is the college dining hall. It's the biggest hall of any in Cambridge, and it's a great place to eat together with a really bubbly, sociable atmosphere. Yeah, no, the hall serves three meals a day, seven days a week, and the range of food is absolutely amazing. Eating together is actually a really distinctive part of Cambridge life, because you get to eat with your friends, people doing other subjects, people older than you or younger than you, um, and also the people who teach you. It's just a really good leveler. There's also something called formal dinners, which you might or might not have heard of. Basically, on some days, after the canteen closes for dinner, there's a three-course dinner which you can book onto. All colleges do them, but the vibe varies a lot from college to college. And what I really like, like about Churchill is it's very chill. Uh, it's great for celebrations, because you still get up to, to dress up and feel fancy, but it's much cheaper than going out, um, especially because it's bring your own bottle. It's often used to kick off big college events, uh, such as themed parties or more serious occasions, like graduation dinner. As postgraduates, we have our own representative student union called the MCR, which stands for Middle Common Room. As well as this union, we also use that term to describe our shared social space. This is where anyone who's a postgrad can come and relax. It's not open to anyone in the JCR, so sorry Jack. No. But that's quite nice if you're a postgrad like me with teaching responsibilities, that you can come and relax somewhere where you're not going to bump into one of your students. The MCR bar is not for profit and student run, which makes it much cheaper and very relaxed. Let's visit the library next, which is just next door. It has the fantastic Wolfson Theatre space, as well as the two libraries and the Archive Centre. So this is the Wolfson Hall, which is used from loads of things, from lectures to external speakers to concerts and plays. Um, and right next door is the two libraries. The library split into two levels. Art, literature, classics, biography and history are upstairs in the Bevan Library. Most others are downstairs here in the Bracken Library. Whatever you're studying in Cambridge, you're going to need to use a library at some point. So the choice of libraries here is really great because you have such different vibes. The Bracken downstairs is really knuckled down and gets stuff done, whereas the Bevan is a bit more like sort of sociable, a little bit chiller. Obviously you don't talk as loudly as I am right now. <laughs> um, and one of the best things about the Bevan all these armchairs because they have an amazing view of the field and you get an amazing sunset. They're so comfy, you can just do a lot of reading. It's great. Right next to the Bevan, we've got a computer suite, which is great if you want to use something a bit more powerful than your laptop or you want to do a big printing job. Also, if you're interested in history and politics, the Churchill Archive Centre is right next to the library. It's got copies of papers from across a broad spectrum of politicians and public figures, from Winston Churchill's speeches to Gordon Brown's notebooks and even Rosalind Franklin's lab books, which is really exciting for a scientist like me. 
But one of the best things about church, and one of the fantastic assets of church, was the outside space, which is where we're headed next. So with 42 acres, Churchill is the biggest single college site in all of Cambridge. And unlike most central colleges, we've got space to have all of our sports pitches on site with rugby, football and cricket, and also squash courts, a dance studio and tennis, netball and basketball courts. Down the road, we've even got a college boathouse on the river if anyone wants to try out rowing while they're in Cambridge. All Churchill clubs and societies are completely free to join. So they're extremely welcoming for beginners and they're great opportunities to try new things while you're here. Yeah, and one of the best things about Churchill is that field. I mean, I, I know I keep saying this, but this field is absolutely amazing. No other college has anything like it. You, know, you, go, you go on walks around during the day to de-stress and clear your head. Also, this is just a great location. So it's about a 15 minute walk from the centre of town. So you're far enough out that you don't have all the tourists and traffic, um, and you can walk in the fields and forget that you're even in a city. And it's right next to the maths and physics departments and the West Cambridge site. And I personally spend most of my time at Sidgwick, which is the Arts and Humanities campus. Um, and it's only like a 10 minute walk away, so it's really chill. Um, you don't have to wake up too early to go to your lectures, and then it, it really establishes a nice work-life balance. So here we have the on-site college gym, which again is completely free to use. Um, we've got treadmills, cross trainers, weight machines, free weights, lots and lots of equipment um, that, yeah, just help yourself to. You need to be trained, um, and then you have access. Just behind the gym is the music centre, which has its own recording studio and rooms where you can book out to practice playing your instruments or bring your own without you know, annoying your neighbours. <laughs> um, you have all sorts of societies here that are based here, like the jazz bands through to the choir. And yeah, and there's a Steinway grand piano in the recital room, which honestly is one of the most beautiful instruments I've ever played. <laughs> yeah, and just down the road from here is the gardens and the orchards and the Xiaotianfu gardens which is probably my favourite place to stay and just sit and relax, read, it's beautiful. And there's all sorts of gardening societies where you grow your own vegetables or you can help out with the new Churchill beehives. So this is some of the postgraduate accommodation here at Churchill. Churchill tries to offer accommodation to all first year postgrads and invites all second and third year postgrads to apply for any remaining rooms. It really creates an on-campus feel. One last thing I'll say, one of the most important things about Churchill is the support that you get here. The pastoral teams are immensely dedicated and genuinely care, and that makes a huge difference to the quality of your university experience. Whether you're an undergrad about to embark on your first adventure away from home, or a seasoned postgrad trying to navigate the academic landscape, Churchill College is here for you as a community, as a hub, and as a home. This brings us to the end of our tour. We've loved showing you around and we hope that this has given you some insight into what college life is like here.